everyone and this is Chrissy from in the stars by Chrissy.com and in this video I'm going to be putting up all of the predictions and readings for each and every sign for their March 2020 love monthly forecast reading and I'm going to be using my favorite Lenormand deck the Bluebird Lenormand so the reason why I am doing this differently for this month is because it's already mid-March and I haven't really done my usual type of readings that I post here on YouTube. And I had a trip and it got delayed and it made a lot of disruption to my schedules and to the readings on YouTube as well. So I do apologize on that. We do have the coronavirus swirling around so it cannot be helped with the delays and everything else so this is just my way that so that i can still you know share the insights and what i get what i pick up for each and every science out there so i'm going to be pulling up the man and the woman card because this is still going to be a love reading and i'm going to be picking up seven cards for each um sign and give you the information on what predictions or information that is um, being shown to me for this month for you guys. So um, yeah, um, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. And I hope that this insight can prove to be helpful one way or another to you guys. Thank you. Okay, so let's start the reading for those that are in the sign of Aries in terms of their love life and relationships. Again, this is a Lenormand reading, so it's not really about connecting or anything like that, but it's really more on the prediction. Let us see if I can still check in the energy involved here though. But um, yeah, just keep that in mind that this is definitely not going to be for each and every one of you guys. But inside is inside and I hope that this can help you guys one way or another. Let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. What's going to be happening for you in terms of their love life and relationship? Aries... This month of March. So I don't really plan to edit the video, so you will have to um, make do with the silence when I'm shuffling. I know a lot of Lenormand readers will just tell you that you know it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you're focusing or not the cards is just the cards but i do things a little bit differently so um yeah once i get like seven cards i'm going to mix it all in with the man and the woman and have the cards show us the way what's going to be transpiring for you guys also if you guys are interested i also have this kind of reading available on my website for those of you that want that or interested as well you can do go to, to my website in the stars by chrissy.com to see but um yeah let's get on with aries aries terms of your love life and relationship for March 2020. Sun, moon, rising sign. Let us see what we have over here for you. Okay, whenever I do nine card spread reading, I always take a look on the middle card to see. We have the snake. And what is the snake? snake is very slicky and manipulative at times this may be something to do with work and if it is about work it is a good sign a good thing because a snake is really very smart and knows its way going around with things but with this um, since this is a love reading we can say that maybe another person someone else or it could be pertaining to a trouble or problem in your love life possibly 
Okay, we have here in the corner cards, we have here the ring, we have the flower, the lady card is over here, and we have the man. So this is already interesting in its own way because it can already tell us that maybe there is a third party situation happening here or maybe maybe they are ex-lovers and maybe they're both thinking of each other in terms of a relationship maybe someone wants to connect to each other they want to bond again that that kind of situation or it could be that you know this could be two people having some form of problems there is something that is blocking their way or you know i kind of feel that there is an energy here we're in the relationship itself is okay but there are a lot of questions inside of them it could be that this man is is you know um maybe thinking of something thinking of something manipulative or because the snake is around here this can pertain to the attitude of this man um, like a player or something like that and yeah there is some form of issues in in the commitment in the commitment of the relationship or maybe they are not in a relationship anymore but you know the thoughts are surrounding the energy of wanting you know it's like the snake is like a temptation so maybe it is giving some form of temptation to the girl or to the man but let us see what is in here so again like i said we have here the fox in the middle of these two people so the fox and the snake are like the two cards in the norman which speaks about you know um doing things on back doors you know third party like i said earlier so um let's open the rest so that we can see a very clear picture on what's really transpiring over here so yes so the issue here is that maybe there is a problem in the relationship or there is some form of toxic situation happening for this man and the woman it could be though that this person this man wants some form of commitment wants for thing to settle down he wants to to have some form of harmony in the relationship and it is also showing that this woman is now thinking of you know she has some form of vision in terms of the relationship i kind of feel that for aries you could be in a situation maybe that you are thinking about an ex maybe you want to reconnect with your ex once again because we do have the snake here and the snake for me is temptation and temptation is not always in a negative way because maybe you are just wanting to be in a relationship again and maybe in a relationship with a very complicated man and even though you know when i say complicated man it means that you know maybe he is sneaky and manipulative but it does not mean that he is a bad person okay so there is that form of energy and this is like the present situation the present situation that you are encountering at this time is that you know you don't know how to resolve things or maybe you're trying to work your way around so that the two of you can be together again there is going to be some form of partnership or something becomes whole again because let us focus on this side and on this side ultimately the last card is the ring card which is very important because it, this tells us that there is going to be union there is partnership there is union and what is it beside with it has the house and it has the sun 
It also has the snake though. Let us not forget this. So it means that even though that the partnership is being longed for and wished for, maybe there is someone else in the picture or there could be a problem that needs to be resolved. And I kind of feel that at the end of the day, if you two are not in contact with each other, because at the middle we have the fox here, it's like, you know, it's like this woman is having her guards up, taking a look on the man. And this man is also maybe not taking any action, or it could be that in the past, there has been a lot of sneakiness that has occurred between the two of them which has caused a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of problems but right now i kind of feel that you know this woman is becoming more positive again and willing to you know willing to willing to want a positive reconciliation maybe thinking of wanting to connect wanting to reconnect those kinds of things and even though that the relationship is troublesome the relationship is not really very smooth sailing maybe she still wants this relationship she still wants to be connected with this person still and along with this man and even though that this man may not be the most you know i kind of feel that this man maybe lives his life in a very dangerous manner or he has a lot of problems on his plate, maybe a lot of problems in his home life. But all he really wants is to settle down. That kind of thing. So we are getting here, you know, various information in just nine cards. So if you are a woman, then maybe this is the message for you coming from the woman's side. And if you're the man, maybe this is the message for you. Overall, though, this is going to be a very tricky situation, regardless if you are a man or a woman. But let us focus on this card, then the ring. This really tells us that regardless of the problems or the hindrances, what is blocking your way into the relationship, ultimately, the two of you will want to reconnect and want to reconcile. So maybe there is going to be an overcoming of a situation or the two of you may need to fight adversity or overcome something so that the two of you will be able to reconcile once again. And overall, this is a really wonderful card because there's going to be some form of success, fulfillment, and some form of harmony after some form of difficulty because right now i kind of feel that for some of you like you want to be together but there are problems but there is, there are issues like two of you don't know how to be together the two of you may want to be together but you don't know how so let's just put it that way but maybe along the way there's going to be answers or someone is going to be taking the action especially if the two of you are at a standstill like no one is taking action for such a long time you know you are in a staring session i kind of feel that for the month of march maybe someone is willing to take the action to put a spark on things so that everything can lead to the place where you know the sun and the ring is some form of successful partnership that kind of thing so yeah that is it for aries and now let's go with taurus let's see what's going on for you taurus in terms of your love life and relationship i kind of think that that actually take me quite a long time so i hope that i don't um take too much time on <laughs> the readings i actually thought that i will be able to do this in just five minutes or so but it took me around 10 or 12. Uh, okay so taurus sun moon rising sign what's going to be unfolding for those that are in the sign of taurus in terms of their love life and relationship For this month of March 2020. 
Okay. So, again, we shuffle everything all together so that I don't know where the man and the woman card really is. Okay, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Wow. <laughs> Another one, we have the woman card over here again. And this time I'm going to be opening everything so that I can be a little bit more faster with my readings. So that I can upload them as soon as possible, right? Okay, so the middle card is the cross. So it could be that for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, there could be some form of burden that you might be feeling in terms of your love life. Maybe some form of problem with the connection with a man that you used to think so positively. Like, you know, there's a lot of sparks, a lot of positive alignment. And it could be that, you know, it's like having a puppy love or a crush with someone or it could be a long term not really a long term but a long distance relationship maybe in the past because we have the woman the man and the stars here and the stars is really about you know someone that gives us inf inspiration it ha it is the internet as well so there could be someone this could be a man that you met in the internet maybe in some dating app or something like that or you know this can just mean that you have some form of idealization with a specific person with your partner or a specific person involved and right now you're kind of feeling um like you don't know what to think anymore you don't know what to think about this relationship and maybe you're feel feeling stress and burden by this connection maybe you are now being forced to face reality that you know what you think about this person may not be exactly how things are truly are so you know you are at the point we're in i kind of feel that this might lead you to make some decisions um i don't know um this could be you know a lot of reflection like you need to think about the relationship more of whether you really want to be in this type of relationship or not. So, um, yeah, but from the women's side, it seems that you really, really want this relationship. You want to, you want to make it work and you still have a lot of hopes in this relationship, but it it seems like with the man's side there's you know i kind of feel that this person may not be so um there's not 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 much action that you can expect from them in fact i kind of feel that there is some form of, of inconsistency in them it's like they're saying one thing and then doing another maybe they are going to say something very wonderful to you then on the next time you know they go back to being unreliable once again so there is that form of trickiness as well it could be that they are having you know different types of problem because he is beside the cross and the scythe so there's a lot of things that he has to deal with i think <laughs> so um yeah overall though i kind of feel that you will be forced to think not just of what you want because you want that person but you will be forced to make a decision for your own self you know it's not really all about the partnership anymore it's all about what is right are you respecting me is this the right thing to do what is the right thing to happen for this relationship so this can be a point where in if you have been you know in neptune land i call it neptune land when people um fall into the fall in 
love at first sight kind of energy and then come into terms to reality that things are not what they truly are so right now there are decisions that you need to take and you need to make and it can be quite sudden but it's going to have a very powerful impact to you as well so I kind of feel that for the most part, this is going to be a very confusing month for Taurus especially because I do not see you making the decision on March but it's like you're thinking of whether it's a yes or a no. Should I stay with this person or should I not? Some of you guys might be telling yourself that I won't tolerate this anymore. I want to break up with this person but then you know the connection is still there I do see the connection is still there so it kind of feels that you as if you are you are in a messy type of relationship and you don't know there is no stability in the relationship and you really cannot rely on this relationship for a long term so that is really something that you really need to think about are you in here just for the crush? Are you in here just for, you know, some puppy love and all of that? Or are you thinking long term to what is feasible, what is possible in the relationship and what is not? So I kind of feel that there's a lot of things that you need to think about. There could be distance between you and another person. Okay, so you you might be you know too much focus on what you had in the past that you do not realize what you have in the present and what you have in the future so there is something that you need to clear out there is something that it, that you need to make it straight that you need to tell yourself and you need to tell your other person as well again of course this is not going to be for each and every Taurus out there but th that is the energy that I'm picking up there's going to be some form of truthful talks and you know major major lessons for those of you Taurus Okay, so let's go now to Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, tell me what's going to be happening for them in terms of their love life and relationship for the month of March 2020. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. okay so put them all together like this and then just shuffle and random stuff and then let's see what really happens for those in sign of gemini sun moon and rising sign okay so gemini Okay, we have the sun, we have the stork card, now that's a really good thing. We have the woman card. And then we have a snake again. So we have the child, we have the key, so far so good. We have the clouds, the lilies, and the man card. Now this is really one good reading for you guys Gemini because this is telling us that in your past there was a lot of confusion it's clearly being shown here that there is so much confusion in the past and maybe this is about you you know you're positive at one point and then you're negative it's like you don't you're not really making the best decisions in the past and I kind of feel that there was a lot of temptations and you are not acting yourself and maybe there is going there were 
a lot of problems, disappointment, and you know, a lot of cloudiness in your past. But you're still being being positive. It shows us that you're positive, and you're trying to move forward with life, and you know that kind of thing. We're being shown here that the middle card you have here is the child card. So there is some form of new beginning taking place, especially for this month. But I kind of feel that this is more like a breakthrough, a breakthrough, because it is next to the key. So some form of idea, or you might be starting something new within the month of March that can open some form of pathway into your future and may be leading point to this man you might meet someone entirely new or you might be you know you might be working there could be a relationship that did not work before and is possible to work out now that is also possible but i kind of feel that you know some form of answers you have in your love affair in terms of your partner is going to be answered for the month of March, there is going to be something that is going to begin and start that allows the two of you to connect to each other, to be with one another. It could be that this man was also confused with things, like he doesn't know what to do, he doesn't know. Maybe there were a lot of depression that has occurred for him a lot of temptation he has a lot on his plate in the past and right now he's also ready and willing to take another step in facing you directly is what i'm being shown here for the most part so so I kind of feel that it, this really does not really give us that much events. It is just telling us that there is going to be a solution to a, to a problem. So if you're single you and you are wanting to find someone new, you might be able to find someone new because of the venture that you begin and start. There is something that you are doing right now that changes your life, your destiny as a whole. And that can just lead you to Mr. Right. That is one of the messages that on how this can transpire. Another way that this can transpire is that if you are in a complicated relationship or had problems with a certain man in the past, there will be a chance for you and him to be able to talk to be able to, you know, um, find solutions into whatever relationship problems you guys have. So there are, you know, a lot of opportunities in place here. If you are a woman, this is going to be something really, really good. You know, it means that everything you wish for, everything that you want, it's all going to be in order. And you, you actually feel as if everything is working so well even though March has a lot of retrograde energies and all of that I just kind of feel that you know you will be able to pursue the path that you really really want and that is a really good thing for you guys Gemini and for the man there is definitely going to be a chance as well but I kind of feel that if you are a Gen Gemini man I kind of feel that you were coming from an, a time wherein there's so much confusion and maybe you your health is suffering as well but there is going to be consolation that is going to be transpiring for you for the month of march there is going to be happiness in the air but this is the time to confront things and to face everything forward you know we have the key here at the middle of the man and the and the woman which means that 
there is something that is connecting them once again. This is the past and this is the future. So there is a chance to maybe tie the knot to unlock things. And maybe some form of maturity is in place as well. So um, yeah, this is it for Gemini. There is something to look forward to. Some form of solutions to a problem that is a very quick prediction for those that are in the sign of Gemini. Okay, so now on to the sign of Cancers. Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. You know guys, it's actually quite really funny because I started this recording like two days ago. And then after 30 minutes, because it took me 30 minutes to actually do the recording reading for Aries to Gemini. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to cut that out and proceed with uploading that or uh, I'll just put everything in one video. Um, but then, you know, once I did the recording for Cancers to Virgo, I realized that I did not click on the record for some odd reasons. And then, you know, I was like, oh my god, screw this. <laughs> I'll just take a time out. And then the next day, I got really sick. And I'm still a bit sickly at this time. So I don't know about you guys, but this Pisces season is really, you know, killing me. <laughs> Aside from the fact that we all have been experiencing the coronavirus whirling around the world. So, um, yeah, again, I do want to sincerely apologize to everyone, especially those who actually care to, you know, to knowing the insights that I will be giving you guys for throughout the month. So, yeah, again, I sincerely apologize, but I do hope you do understand, though. I do have my Pisces on my sixth house of my health and my work routine so it's <laughs> screwing things up badly so um yeah anyway without any further ado let's get on with the sign of cancers i also had to cleanse with my sage because i was really feeling out of it for the past few days um okay let's now focus into the sign of cancer in terms of their love life for the month of march 2020 okay okay we have seven cards now and then Shuffle them all together. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I know the month of March 2020. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry for the, that silence. I'm actually not very used to, you know, doing recording while i'm actually focusing i don't know how other people do that it's just like i kind of feel that it puts me off focus when i do something like that apparently though there are other people who feels that whenever i lay out the cards without showing you guys the shuffling and all that it seems to be unprofessional as they say though i usually won't care about it um i just want to show you guys how i do lenormand at least because the cards are small it's easy to record them anyways um this is a very interesting set of reading because as i mentioned earlier i already pre-recorded the reading for cancer so i am a bit aware of the insight in reading from that session even though I didn't I didn't click on record so it's very funny because we all we have again the cross and the whip card together and I 
did remember saying that there are issues uh, like discord that is very much possible surrounding the energy for those that are in the sign of cancer it could be that maybe some of you guys are in concern with your family maybe your health and i do hope that you guys are safe because this kind of makes this is making me feel as if there is a problem or discord happening maybe in terms of the relationship itself or it could be that you know there's something to do with your loved ones and health issues health matters are coming of importance so this is becoming a burden for some of you guys creating some form of confusion and feeling lost as well this can also be yeah a time wherein maybe there are miscommunications that are happening or you know maybe there is some form of you know distance between you and between a man and a woman you know maybe they are talking to each other through the internet or something like that or maybe they are far away from each other and you know there are just things that you don't know exactly it makes you feel though that you are a very intuitive person and you would know better what action it is that needs to be taken in this relationship i just kind of feel though that you know patience is going to be needed and there is a possibility that the man here might be, you know, maybe in trouble or maybe um, they are having some form of issues. In a nutshell, I would say that this man could be, you know, um, maybe in an affair, sexual connection, that kind of energy. But I kind of feel that this is not something that they want to do i don't know i just kind of feel that they are in a position right now wherein things are not what they truly seem to be so any conclusions you make at this time with with regard to your love life and relationship i kind of feel that you know things needs to get cleared out the the two of you need to see things eye to eye level like maybe you're not seeing the clear picture maybe you don't know all of the details yet so maybe don't be harsh on that person try to figure out things try to find things out what is being shown here is that there is burden in terms of your partnership with a certain person in your life and there could be various reasons for that but the the advice here is to not be so hasty with things don't try to conclude that you know everything when you don't there is that form of energy so you know being patient and having faith can be something that you need to put in mind for some of you guys this could be an area wherein a woman in your life could be I don't know having an affair <laughs> you know I kind of feel that if there is a possibility of two partners or two 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 people that is in this relationship it's like it's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship there is someone else that has another significant person so maybe this could be a time of evaluation of what you really have to do in that relationship there's so much things that you need to evaluate you need to repair you need to prepare for and you, you need to clear out so there is a huge tendency to fight so um just be mindful of that and make sure you know all of the facts involved so um yeah that's my reading for you guys cancers and now we go into the sign of leo 
So Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign in terms of their love life and relationship. So here we have, oh God, no, I forgot. Okay, yes, seven cards. See, just like I said earlier, I'm really under the effects of retrograde. And even though it's already direct, I kind of feel that, you know, I keep zoning out or something like that. Whenever I'm tuning in, I'm tuning in so perfectly to the point we're in. I failed to notice quite a few things. Anyways, okay, Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign for the month of March 2020. How is their love life going to be unfolding? Please show us. What do we need to know? Okay, the middle card is birds. That has a lot to do with chattering messages. We have the mail card over here and then the house or the home we have here garden so there's definitely some form of communication talking maybe matters of the heart are involved you might be you know maybe you have met someone recently or maybe you are in contact with someone maybe this is your husband or something like that okay okay so notice that everything starts out really nice and good and then over here it's all about some form of tricky situation coming in so there could be secrets that you don't know or secrets that that people are telling you but you don't know if it's true or not there are those kinds of stuff it could be that there are gossips swirling around it could be issues when it comes to the foundation of a relationship as well maybe um, some of you guys are questioning if the other person is faithful towards you or not or maybe you are in a re in a relationship already but you met someone and you feel infatuated or if feel attracted with this person because the birds card is also that signal we're in you're talking from one person to another. You're not really invested with one person alone. You're talking with groups of people. So there is a chance here that maybe you have met someone through a social gathering, through a reunion, maybe in social media, those kinds of things. And, you know, that might have manifested in a way wherein it can lead to some form of love affair that is outside of of marriage or something like that that is possible as well this can also be a scenario wherein you know after some form of distance between you and your partner the two of you are starting to talk again starting to talk communicate again but at the same time you are still questioning if you're talking again but it does not mean you are trusting the person if that makes sense so we also have here like you know someone is being sneaky and this is making this can create you know tension in the relationship this can create negative reaction this can create some form of negative energy as a whole because I kind of feel that, you know, 
this could be the time we're in if you are going to be able to have the chance to talk to someone that you are longing for to talk to this could be the chance we're in you need to come clean and be honest and really tell them what you truly think what you truly feel because at the end of the day if you are keeping something within within yourself like maybe you have grudges maybe there is something that is not satisfying you there is some form of dissatisfaction inside of you when it comes to the relationship or you know maybe you wanted to know something but you are afraid whether you should ask or not i kind of feel that this could be the time for you to to have the opportunity to clear the air to be able to talk things out clear everything find out the truth because if you keep hiding what you truly think what you truly feel what you truly want to ask that will create burden in the relationship and the communication factor between you and your and your partner or whoever is the person that you are focusing right now that will just create some form of strain in the relationship and that can lead to more dishonesty more lies more disloyalty in all of that so at some point i kind of feel that you know this is a situation wherein the two of you are putting your guards up and no one is really giving giving in no one is submitting to each other you know no one wants to to be vulnerable everyone wants to be very guarded but nothing is ever going to be happening if you do it that way someone needs to step down for things to work it takes two to tango so if the two of you are stubborn um this can just you know create more um difficult difficulties in the relationship and i i wouldn't even know if it's even worth continuing the relationship because all you're building are negative things you know you're building from one burden to another giving burden to the man and giving burden to the woman you know the two of you are not going to be happy that way so there could be a chance you know to clear something out communication is definitely going to be a big factor and if it's possible this is not the month for you to lie because it is also possible that the truth can be revealed and if you are if someone you know realize that you are lying that can create another form of strain in the relationship wherein i don't know um the two of you will not be able to know what this relationship really is all about so this is not just going to create burden to the woman it is also going to create a burden to the man itself so um yeah but i just kind of feel that you know this is going to be a good energy once it is being used wisely because it means that you are going to be finding out something you are going to be finding out the truth whether it's a good truth or a not so good one all at the same time so yeah communication is definitely the key there okay so now we finally go to the sign of virgo virgo sun moon and rising sign let's see what's going on with you guys in terms of your love life and relationships okay so virgo virgo in terms of their love life For the month of March 2020. Virgo. Okay, so let's see. Virgo for the month of March. What's 
going on with you guys what are the manifestations of how things may go in terms of your love life and relationships for Virgo okay so let's see let's put it here okay wow we had the writer and the child so that can spur up some new beginnings to occur for you especially for those of you who are virgo women let's see um, this could be it could be from an ex lover it could be from someone you you once knew it could be from an older man as well yeah you're you're definitely going to be hearing some form of message from this person this card has been showing up in a whole lot of readings and we have here the moon and then the fox okay so you will be receiving some form of message from a man but because we have the writer the man and the fox over here it kind of feel that maybe you feel that it's too good to be true this person entering back your life again if it's you know if it's an ex or someone you haven't heard from in such a long while because it it is showing us here that we have here the the woman the man and the cross here so this person has already some form of burden they have caused you burden one way or another you know again this can be vice versa you know or this could also be a very karmic situation wherein you are fated to receive some form of news from someone but you don't know whether you should trust this person or not you know so it gives a very conflicting energy right there however it makes me feel that you know i just kind of feel that there is some form of energy of too good to be true it's like they are saying the things that you want to hear but at the same time you also know that maybe they're not saying the truth the true thing you know because you are also mirroring this the fox so it, it makes me feel that you know you're not exactly happy about this news but at the same time it also brings you joy so it has a mixed feeling to that it could also mean that maybe you're thinking too much or over analyzing things with how they are contacting you and all of that so um yeah this can you know be a month filled with a lot of questions and but at the same time it's also a month filled with opportunities like um A lot of opportunities and a lot of finding out things i would say i kind of feel that you know you you need to be careful though because when the when the bouquet or the flower and the fox comes in together it might feel as if someone is telling you things but it is in a form of deceiving deceiving you so whether you admit that or not you know there is something that is not truthful in the message that comes into your life and maybe this could not be exactly the month wherein you can trust everything that happens in your life you can trust everything all the messages that comes into you y you might encounter a lot of men in your life entering your life at this time though but either you are having trust issues or maybe they are not really that trustworthy to begin with and this is a point wherein you need to really re reflect and analyze what kind of men you have been in contact with what kind of men are you dating 
with what kind of men are you choosing to date with you know do you really have issues in finding the right man in your life or are you do you end up choosing the wrong men for some reason you know so i kind of feel that this could be a month wherein you get to find yourself being matured because you are finding out the differences of what is a lie and what is not those kinds of things this could also be a situation wherein you might just you know do something fun do something very sexual do something sexy with someone and not really think about whether this is a very serious relationship or not i mean i know a lot of virgos will care whether the relationship has a purpose or not but there will be some of you guys who just cannot help but fall in love or fall for this Mr. Bad Boy. Let's put it that way. So, um, yeah. Um, there could be a sense of happiness and a sense of depression all at the same time over here. All I know is that there is going to be major lessons that is going to be shown to you whether you acknowledge that acknowledge that or not it is there so again all i can say is right now play your cards right because there is a chance that the things that this person is telling you may not exactly be the truth especially if you're not even in a relationship with a man yet or maybe if they are your ex or something like that or maybe if this person already had a history of not making you feel so good about yourself or you already have some form of histories of trust um, with this man I feel so um, yeah what else do i see here is yeah there could be some form of message definitely someone is going to come into your life where that will lead is on, on another story but this is the month we're in a specific person can really come into your life and that will raise a whole lot of question inside of you one way or another so um yeah this is it for you guys virgo now let's go to the sign of libra okay so i need to shuffle this very thoroughly so we don't get any repeat cards though i kind of feel that for, with the norman things are just gonna show up when it has to show up Okay, so Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. What's really going to be transpiring and happening for them for the month of March one more card for no 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 it's fine oh my gosh what's happening to me okay libra i keep forgetting stuff libra for march 2020 okay so let us see what's going on with my lovely Libras in terms of their love life. Libras are all about relationships. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the first card is the mountain. And this already signifies that in your past, 
there has been some form of maybe stagnancy or problems, obstacles in your love sphere. You have here the fish, which is all about flowing movement, abundance. You have here the mice card. Okay, that is one heck of a difficult energy have here the house so this immediately is telling us that you know your emotions is very much fluctuating maybe even in the past few months but i kind of feel that within this month there is really something happening in terms of your emotions that you know that you cannot seem to control maybe you are worried about something or maybe you're excited about something but this could also be you know a sign of anticipating something but they can be a negative energy because it can be worry as well you know worry or the sense and feeling of needing something wanting something desiring something to occur but you don't know if it's actually occurring or not we have here the sun we have here tower so okay so clearly we can see here the mountain tower and clouds this is clearly telling us that there is some form of um, happening in terms of your love life and maybe you have broken up with someone maybe you were single or maybe the idea of love is just something you don't want to even think about or you, you're just ignoring love itself you don't want to deal with it maybe because you feel that you have given too much of yourself and you just want to focus on yourself this time around or at the very least that is what is being shown to us in the past we do have here the woman card and the man as well so i kind of feel that if you are at the point where in you were ignoring love itself in the past you might be in a situation right now wherein you might be desiring to be to find love to have love to be in a relationship again so there could be some form of confusion before with what you really want to do and i kind of feel that for a lot of you guys you are just ignoring things you're just you know um i guess taking things for granted is probably not the right word but it's like okay i'm single i don't have any lover right now but i don't want to care too much anyway it has that form of attitude that i'm getting here but right now with the mice card and the fish it's like you know this is all about desires and worry all at the same time because it mirrors the woman so maybe libra women are getting worried or feeling that you know will i find mr right will i have love will i find someone there is that form of energy but here we are seeing in the future and also we see the future over here and also over here so we are getting here that you maybe are confused with uh, a relationship with a specific man or a specific woman in your life but notice that you are in the white clouds not really the dark clouds so that is a good signal because it can mean that in the future there will be some form of clarity in terms of a specific woman or man in your life or with the relationship in itself and with this showing up we have the house the sun and the man there could be some form of positive indication in terms of your love life there could be some form of happiness in the air you might um i guess receive some form of result on something you might hear about the man 
or there is some form of success there could be some form of vitality back in terms of your love life you might be engaged with a relationship again maybe very soon as well it does show us here that you are not the only one who was confused but the man was also confused maybe this person has been burdened with finances or he has his own set of problem as well because we do have the mountain the fish and the man all here so yeah but right now the most important thing here is that you know the mountains and the mice are far away from the man and the woman and even though we have the clouds over here there is still some form of positive indication that the future is going to get better so with this reading it does not really give us a very clear picture of what is really going to transpire but there is some form of hope and there is a form of sign that things are going to be okay that whatever that has happened in the past is all just in the past and you can look forward with something in the future and there is a huge chance that you won't be alone in the process as well because you will have your encounter with the man this man whether this is someone new or old this could be also you know someone that you truly truly love or care about again we have the ace of diamonds with the sun and that is also like um, a signification of the ring in olden times in cardamancy ace of diamonds is all about ring marriages commitment those kinds of things so maybe you might get back a relationship you might get back a connection from someone because as they say when the mice is near it is like an indication that you know you might get back something you once lost so those are the energies involved here but it does clearly tell us that this is not going to be happening immediately within the month of march because it is showing us that you have the energy of anxiety there is an energy of depression an energy of singlehood an energy of you know feeling lost and confused but know that it could be the month of month month of march wherein you know things can actually change and it could be a game changer month for a lot of you guys there's going to be a lot of realizations and a lot of happy situations that can you know change your path in life as well in a very wonderful way of course so yeah that is it for you guys libra now let's see what we have for my dear scorpio people Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio for the month of March. Scorpio. okay so let's go now shuffle shuffle here and there okay for those that are in the sign of scorpio let's see what's going on with you guys Okay. Let's see what's your first card. We have the man card and the mice again. 
and then we have here the flower okay so this can be an energy we're in the man maybe a scorpio man or the man in your life may be you know either worried or excited you know whenever there is a flower and a mice it's like you know it's like a very excitable energy and exciting energy does not always seems to be a bad thing but it also does not seem to be a good thing you know we don't know it's just that we know that we are easily swayed that is basically what this is telling us with the crossroads here beside the man and the mice card this man might have experiences some form of losses or maybe they they felt loss they lost a relationship they lost a loved one they are confused with their life they don't know their purpose in life and you know there are just so many decisions that they have to make but it was done hastily and right now they don't know they basically don't know anything at this point there's just so much confusion that they have here and a lot of emotions is very much involved especially with the fish here it could be that you know Maybe this man has lost this woman. So there could be a breakup that has occurred between them. Or maybe he is hesitating whether to be with someone else or still, you know, to still to be with this person. It could also be that this person is with um, another person involved, you know. It could be a man <laughs> who is cheating or a man with two partners as a whole those kinds of stuff and another thing here is that i kind of feel that you know this is not just any playboy material or anything like that i just kind of feel that this person is really depressed there is an energy of depression here and a feeling of confusion however there is some form of good news. I kind of feel though that there is a chance that this man maybe makes a decision to communicate again and talk things out with maybe someone in the past. That is just a possibility, of course. But with the crossroads here, it's like, you know, taking a chance into something, deciding something after a long period of thinking and deliberation, contemplation those kinds of things maybe even though that they try to be very much the logical person that they am that they are they end up still following their heart you know and if they still love the person i kind of feel that they won't be able to resist it and will try to connect back with the person so we have here this because we have this birds and the mirroring of the mice card so this can be an energy we're in there was a loss of communication with someone but within the month of march we do have the child here so there there could be a new beginning some form of communication it could also be that it is the woman who makes an action to to the man maybe they try to to check the person out, try to message and contact them, try to see if they're still alive, and that can trigger something. It's a new beginning, it's a new foundation to things. To trigger a reconnection of some kind, that sort of stuff. Now, so, um, yeah. so right now all we know is that there was a loss of message and a chance to be able to talk again it's very much possible and some form of new beginning that can create 
some form of happy memories, happy feelings as well. Maybe they are, you know, you you and the other person involved might be reminiscing things about the past and thinking of the things you guys did as a mistake, and you know, ju just a lot of what ifs. I'm. There's a lot of what ifs. I'm like, what if I did this? What if I did that? So right now, I kind of feel that you are more in tune with your heart. At the very least, this is what I'm getting. And also, there's going to be some form of decision that is going to be made definitely within the month of March. But it does not happen immediately because we do see here that there's so much deliberation and contemplation going on. So... I don't know, maybe it will occur by the end of March or I don't know. You might just receive some form of news or message. I don't know if you will respond or if that person will respond or not. But you will definitely be able to think about the person and the other person is definitely going to be think thinking about you too. So um yeah. You might be thinking of the happy memories. It makes me feel like emotional seeing this because it gives the energy as if this man feels so unfortunate with all of the things that has been happening to him. Maybe nothing is going right. And we have this woman over here filled with a lot of gifts, filled with abundance, filled with a lot of opportunities in her life. So it makes me pity, I guess, this man for some reason. I know that maybe they are not perfect, but yeah, there is some form of love here that will, will not be seen by other people very clearly. And it could be open to judgment as well like maybe other people might be thinking that he's just manipulating the woman or he's just using the woman or something like that i just kind of feel that there are true feelings here that only the man and the woman will be able to know you know there are the only ones who knows the truth whether there is real love there or not and other people will have no say on that. They can say say anything they want. They can judge whatever they want. But they will never know what is the true love that is happening between the man and the woman over here. And hopefully, they will have a chance to reconcile, to connect, to talk things out. And maybe to start a new beginning once again. Just like with the child so okay kind of feel that the reading for scorpio is a little bit on the heavy side so let's switch gears and focus now into the sign of sagittarius okay sagittarius Sun, moon, and rising sign for Sagittarius. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys, Sagis, in terms of your love life and relationships. We have the man, we have the anchor card. Ooh, this is the one card that you don't want to see popping up. In a reading. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay, so this is not the easiest reading, I guess. But we have to go through it. We have here the man, the woman, and the house. So this clearly tells us that maybe they are in a relationship, maybe they are married, or maybe they're just living in one house. We have here the coffin card, the woman, and the snake. So there is a possibility here that maybe someone is very depressed because maybe they find out or have found out that someone is cheating behind their back or maybe someone is cheating because again this man is mirroring the snake card it could be that you know it's not always a form of cheating but someone is not really honest someone is becoming sneaky and manipulative so there is that form of energy maybe this person is not happy anymore and things have become really stagnant between them is a possibility which has led this person to cheat and maybe their sex life is quite active that way he definitely acts like a single person though not a person that is actually in a relationship so maybe this is creating a lot of burden with the women and some form of depression as well because coffin and stars are not really the best match it's like all you can see is negative things happening or you're feeling negatively about something in the relationship it could also be that maybe you're not in touch with someone or someone is not responding to you and you have no idea what's really happening and maybe they are with someone else or something like that that is a possibility that is very much open one that you cannot deny completely so there is that form of energy so all i can say here is that the month of march has a possibility to become really depressing to you and it could also be that you may not be able to trust the person entirely because we have the snake and the dog all together with the house so it, it feels as if you're living with someone who is sneaky and cannot be trusted someone who is cheating behind your back or doing something not really good because it's like you're living with someone who is a snake right because the dog is all about companionship loyalty honesty and all that but with the snake right there you don't know if if they're actually true being truthful to you that kind of thing there's also a possibility that you know um, it could be that you are married with a woman and it is the woman who has some form of secret behind their back you know secret inside of a coffin maybe they're not what they truly seem to be so there are a lot of things surrounding this energy it's not really necessarily telling us that there is a form of event that is going to happen it's, it is more or less telling us that there is something wrong in this relationship that things are not what they truly seem to be i don't think that the man knew the man knows it i don't think the woman knows it you know whoever has the secret they don't know it's just that the act of cheating and the act of dishonesty is being practiced in their relationship so that is what's being shown here and maybe for some some people they are at the point of ready to leave the relationship because you don't see anything good about it anymore that kind of energy so there's a lot of you know thoughts that can mislead you to the right path it could also be that you know you might do this within the month and that can you know create 
some form of impact into your to the to the relationship that you have at this time and it could be something that you know it's like a taboo or a forbidden act that you should not make but you end up doing anyway it could also be that this is just all about your thoughts and it's not the truth but with the snake and dog here I, I'm, I really don't think that this is not the truth this is actually the truth and it's all about whether you are going to admit that to yourself or not again <laughs> I know that this is quite of a negative reading but do know that this is not for everyone so i'm not saying that all sagittarius people are going to experience this maybe you're just not connecting to the reading and this is just what i'm picking up in general the snake is not always about cheating you know this could be that you have negative thoughts over someone over a relationship over a partner you don't trust them anymore or you know their lies or you know white lies those kinds of stuff and yeah all i can really say it's really hard for me to be more positive in this i try to be positive though but this is lenormand so what you see is what you get we have here the coffin the snake card it's really hard to be positive with all of these combinations in place but yeah, just know that if you feel that you're not connected with this reading, then shift your gears. You're not connected with, with this reading. This is for someone else. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, but hopefully that is something that's not going to be manifesting for you guys because, you know, that is a reading full of temptations and illusions okay so finally we're now going to have the reading for those that are in the sign of capricorn capricorn has been in the spotlight for since 2017 i believe or 2018 so i know that a lot of capricorns have been having a hard time astrology wise and all of that but um yeah let's see what's going on with you for the month of March 2020 Okay so here Capricorns in terms of their love life and relationships sign of Capricorn sun, moon and rising signs okay let's see we have the whip and rider card with the man so that could be news from an athletic man or an argumentative man okay there's a lot of bird there could be a new beginning that is going to be transpiring for the month of march but it is possible that you know you are forced to begin something to start something that you really don't want to start or something like that it feels as if it's not something you want to decide upon it's like you are just being forced to decide on it it doesn't mean that you are willingly deciding on something because we do have the clouds and the, the cross here so there could be depression feeling heaviness or maybe you have a child and maybe for the sake of your child you're you're making a decision because of that for the sake of someone else maybe you are making a decision that you're not exactly happy about but you feel that this is the right thing to do 
there is that form of energy as well with here let's see what's going on so we can see here that the woman here is you know feels a lot of discord confusion because again this is the dark clouds surrounding and the women also whenever the card is at the bottom it feels as if the person at the bottom feels the heaviness feels the burden much more so we are getting something like that so let's see maybe there's going to be a new start between the man and the woman or maybe they have a child so that is really a big possibility it could be that they are in a fight especially with the whip and the rider it's like receiving news from a difficult man or this could be also a very sexual man even but the woman here does not know too much about the relationship like they don't know what this relationship is all about or maybe they got pregnant and yet they don't know whether they have even a relationship or not that's just a possibility because we do have the garden over here you know when we connect the man and the woman it leads to a garden and it leads to the whip so sexual tendencies and then here is like you know a setting we're in the garden is not really ideal for a relationship because it just feels as if you guys have a connection but it does not mean you have you have a commitment yet you have form of baby so let's just put it that way so i guess i'm giving you guys the keywords but it's really hard to put it in one sentence over here it just kind of feels that yeah there is some form of decisions that have to be made or maybe you have already made some form of decisions and it's not easy maybe you are trying to make a baby but you're having a hard time that is also possible it is also possible that um yeah you wanted to get pregnant there's also this possibility we're in you don't know about this relationship too much i don't see the commitment part in this relationship so it's quite hard to um, analyze or give meaning to it i just kind of feel that if you don't want to get pregnant <laughs> and if you don't have a relationship and if you don't want any headache then try to do things the safe way don't try to do something you will regret basically because I kind of feel that for a lot of Capricorns, maybe you are involved with someone that is commitment phobic or doesn't want to commit or you're having a difficult time or having issues with that person. So, um, yeah. There's also... So, I kind of feel that this is this has a very sexual tone to it especially with the lilies and the whip yeah and we have the garden over here as well you might meet someone outside yeah i would say that the best the best thing that i'm picking up over here is that maybe some of you guys are confused not seeing things clearly and you end up maybe going out or something like that you meet you meet someone but at the same time they're not really the person that's ideal it's like you're not in your right mind and you meet someone and maybe you idealize them one way or another but they might but they might not fulfill the expectations that you have that kind of energy and you might be meeting someone that's just there for sex or something i don't know okay i don't know 
um, there is that kind of energy that I feel over here. It could be that, you know, this could be an argument with someone, discord with a man. That is why, you know, there's a lot of confusing energies here and a lot of burden being felt as well. So this is not the right time to make concrete decisions, I would say. This is the time for you to not conclude anything and to be careful. I would say be careful, especially when it comes to pregnancy and all that. Because you might just get yourself involved with someone who is not exactly worth it or not exactly someone who will provide for you so be careful of making mistakes like that again this is not for everyone okay so this energy can manifest in various ways this could be just a time wherein you are very confused very troubled and wanting to find someone but maybe you're not able to find someone maybe wanting to settle down but you find yourself hard you know it, you find yourself not able to settle down so this could be a, a, mo a month of a bit of struggle i would say and not not seeing everything very clearly it's like you want something you want to take action on something but you don't know it's like there is no step-by-step -step process into things that allows you to get to your goal entirely so maybe this could be a time wherein there's going to be a lot of reflection done to that you're going to be doing as well so um yeah that's it for my reading for those that are in the sign of capricorn now let's see what we have i'm going to be doing things differently for what sign i was in aquarius okay for those that are in the sign of aquarius aquarius in terms of their love life and relationship what's really going to be happening for you guys Okay. Okay, sun, moon, and rising sign in terms of their love life and relationships. So let's pick random. this one okay so we have seven cards and then shuffle them together for those that are in the sign of Aquarius in terms of their love life and relationship Let's see. We have here the leather card and the woman. So maybe a woman is going to receive a message. We have the ring. We have the scythe. We have the moon. And the man is over there house crossroads and fox okay another <laughs> tricky situation i guess we have here like um, a message or some form of relationship connection commitment that could be happening within the month and i don't know for some of you guys that this might result into a breakup 
this might result into a breakup or yeah because we do have the scythe between the man and the woman and the scythe is all about cutting things out or harvesting something but with the energy of the crossroad over here and then the fox it makes me feel as if there are doubts in the relationship or maybe maybe you feel maybe one of you guys feel that they were not thinking clearly when they got into a relationship maybe they have been hasty and you know they might they might just do something about the relationship i don't know what but some form of decision some form of action is going to be done and it may not always be something that can really feel good because we have the letter the scythe and the fox so it's some form of message that is manipulating and maybe it's something that can feel unfair as well and it could be something mutual though you know the man and the woman both feel feel this way maybe it's a mutual breakup or it could be a time wherein the relationship is definitely going somewhere and there are there is something that needs to happen there is something that needs to to be clear and analyze to where is the real direction of a relationship there's definitely going to be some form of messages and talks about the relationship and it, it can lead to to a breakup or a breakthrough can happen you know it can move the relationship forward or it can end the relationship that this is just the relationship maybe i just made a mistake especially with the man side because we have the moon here and the and the man so i don't know if they are in love with someone else or they're being back to their sneaky self because again this man card is connected to the ring he is also connected to the crossroad so it feels as if maybe he's thinking of two women two partners and maybe he wants to choose one that kind of energy i don't know <laughs> there is that form of energy that i'm picking up here so but all of this is a form of realization because of a message or contact received something like that some form of communication creates a form of changes into the relationship between the man and the woman so it could be the man breaking up with the woman or the woman breaking up with a man but because we have here the handle is over here it feels as if this man is going to be doing the cutting but with the moon and the fox over here and then we have here the crossroads i kind of feel that this is another difficult man to deal with because it feels as if they are thinking of a lot of things and they really don't know what to do you know i kind of feel that maybe they're not ready for something or maybe they are slowly finding out something and they are real realizing maybe their mistakes but i kind of feel that this is a very troubled man like they don't know they have a very complicated mindset into things especially with the moon card over there it's like they are acknowledging something but at the same time there is something sly about it some form of deceiving kind of thing 
So there could be some form of energy of deception happening into the picture of the relationship. And that can prove to be tricky. Especially if you enter just a new relationship while you're still in an emotional relationship with someone else. So um, yeah, that is the energy that I'm picking up over here. So again, I kind of feel that there could be some form of game changing happening or event that is going to be transpiring in terms of your love life and relationship. Again, just a reminder to you guys that this is not absolute. This is a Lenormand reading. So Lenormand readings is not about energies. Lenormand readings are predictions. And of course, I won't be able to predict for each and every Aquarius out there or any signs out there. So, you know, just know that, you know, this is just a general thing that I can see, not what everyone will experience. Okay, so finally for the last sign, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces in terms of their love life and relationships. So far, I think I've gone over one hour or almost two hours into this reading. Anyways, let's see Pisces in terms of their love life and relationships. Yeah, I think Pis uh, Pisces is today, this month is their birth month, right? <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Pisces. Okay, let's see. Love life and relationship for those that are in the sign of Pisces in terms of their love life for the month of March. Okay, so we have the sun. We have here the whip card. And then the man here. So this is maybe a happy man. So maybe a very sexual attraction sexual energy between the man and the woman full of sparks i would say maybe they are traveling together they meet maybe they have met in some form of foreign land or travel or maybe this is a man and a woman hoping wishing for each other which wishing to be with one another it could also be that they talk and communicate through the internet that is also possible so we have here the child flower and the heart so i would say that this is a very very likely that there is going to be some form of communication between a man and a woman and it could be through the internet internet dating or maybe because the stars and the ship always talks about some form of hope and fulfillment it's not as if it's already happening but you are wishing for it wishing for this love so i kind of feel that there is a chance that maybe this man and woman there is a chance for their, for their relationship or connection to progress to move but since the ship is not really a positive card or a negative one you know it's it's just telling us that there is going to be movement in the relationship it does not tell us if it's a positive thing or not 
but there's definitely some form of positive alignment to it. It does tell us that there's going to be some form of communication, whether in a very psychically or literally. It could be some form of communication. It's like their hearts are going to be aligned. And this can m give some form of happiness between the man and the woman as well. Even though it feels as if the woman can be easily swayed, easily mad, easily irritated at times. When she feels happy, she is happy. And yeah, we do see here that there is a chance to begin something for March. And I kind of feel that for a lot of people, there are a lot of new beginnings that is happening. Small new beginnings, but nonetheless, they are new beginnings. Like, I don't know, it's like a new start of a relationship. Or maybe you guys are resetting the relationship. Or you are realizing something, knowing something. It kind of feels that you want to welcome something. Welcoming something back. That kind of energy. But this definitely has a very positive tone to things because we do have the sun and the stars together. It makes me feel that, you know, this is like a positive and joyful hope one way or another. It could be that it could be that this man is from foreign lands or they are far away from you. There are there is distance between you between the two of you is possible. But and there is hope, like hoping to connect with this person who is far away from me. And there is a chance that it can actually happen because we do have, you know, maybe the man is going to connect and communicate with you this month. Also with the child and the flower and the heart here, you know. A spark of love can occur from that even though that the two of you may not be seeing each other on a physical level so there is that form of energy I kind of feel that this person is you know maybe someone you have been waiting for such a long time and they suddenly will pop up r r you know when you least expect maybe there is that form of energy. I kind of feel that this month has a gift, has a gift for you. And it's not going to be happening in a very obvious way, but you will know and feel that there is going to be a shift of energy that is going to be transpiring for you in terms, especially of your love life. So watch out on your cell phones, on your mails and all that. I kind of feel that there's a, a chance that you might just receive some form of love letters um, online or something like that from someone that you have been wishing for and waiting for for such a long time and that can lead to a new beginning a new start for you that can really make you very very happy so um yeah thank you guys for watching and, and tuning in with me and this is my Lenormand reading for all of of the signs for March. I know that it's almost the end of March. It's already mid-March. So I do apologize for that. But it's better late than never. So I'm just going to be posting this. And um, yeah, thank you guys. And if you want to have a Lenormand reading as well for your specific situation, we can also do that by booking a session with me. And my website in the stars by chrissy.com and um yeah i'll see you guys again next month hopefully when things settle down <laughs> thank you